What's going on everybody? This is Jeff Lowell from Buzz. So today we're going to make a video to talk about the community's top cryptocurrencies that you guys have been asking me to make a video on. Joseph here wants me to talk about Datum. Um, I've actually been getting quite a few comments about Deep Brain Chain. So we're going to go over that. That's from BJJ for Life. I've got, what else is going to be on this list? I uh, keep seeing Ember coin, but I'm not going to talk about that one. And then I got Syndicator. We're going to talk about that. And let's see what else we're going to talk about here on this list, if it's anything else. The other one was Modem. Somewhere I saw some people talking about Modem, which is similar to Deep Brain Chain. So, and then we're going to do one more that's uh, going to be my my pick from the community. So we're going to do four from you guys and one from me. Let's go ahead and start this off with Deep Brain Chain. Okay, so I don't hold a position in Deep Brain Chain, but this is one of your guys' picks. And I'm going to be maybe considering getting into this because so many people are interested. What do we know? We know it's got a $218 million market cap, uh, $900, million, or <laughs> $900 million circulating supply, up to 10 million in circulating supply. It's an AI. It's interesting. You can get it on KuCoin, Allcoin. So charts show that it's uh, it's rising. It's been steadily rising, nice and consistent like that. Uh, like I said, I mean, the the uh, market cap is, is a little bit higher than I would like for a cryptocurrency like this. But uh, you guys were definitely talking about it down here. But because we keep getting so many comments about deep brain chain, I'm throwing this in there. And uh, the reason I stayed away from it in the beginning was because the website loads very slow. But I've uh, already preloaded the, the, the website here. So let's go ahead and play the video. Having trained so many times, the cost certainly has been a great astronomical figure. More inconceivably, the calculation of AlphaGo in AI world is just like a drop of an ocean. Let's see this data set. During the past five years, there are more than 5,000 AI entrepreneurial firms were born of $20 billion. Oh, well, see that this, I have pretty good internet and it, it, it does this. Um, this looks like we're not gonna be able to play the full video. You guys can go on the website and try and do that. But uh, this is a community pick that has come up. It is very popular and I'm not trying to, um, look, I'm doing my best to present this one for you guys. So, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm still considering getting into it. It, it seems interesting. It's an AI, but, uh, yeah. So if you're interested in deep brain chain, a very popular cryptocurrency among our community, go ahead and go on their website and pull it up and check out their white paper. So moving right along here, here's modem. So modem is really quite an interesting project. And if you check out their website here, you can see it's data integrity for supply chain operations powered by blockchain. So this is like RFID. I've talked about this a couple of times. I really like this project. I do not hold any of this uh, coin. Uh, as you know, there's many coins out there and I'm trying to get into as many as I can because I see so many good projects, but um, I'm all my, all my, all my money is tied up. I mean, it's crazy, but you can get it on Binance, KuCoin, Ether Delta. I'm trying to figure out a way to get new money into the market. Uh, but yeah, so you got sitting at 390. Now all of a sudden it's 637, 116 million dollar market cap, still very low. Total supply 27 million. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so I like this project. Let's see if they got some other information on here. You got it on Bitcoin News, Crypto Valley, Nasdaq, World Economic uh, Forum. Let's play this video real quick. Modem, ensuring drug safety with blockchain technology. Our product, Mod, democratizes the sensor data of pharma logistics. The Mod is added to the package of medicinal products before it is shipped. During the delivery, it is monitoring the temperature conditions autonomously. When the receiver, a doctor for instance, accepts the package, all the data is transferred to the blockchain where a smart contract is executed to check if the product always complied with the temperature regulations. Once in the blockchain, this data can't be changed and is publicly accessible. 
The result is immediately reported back to the end consumer, as well as to the distributor. The new GDP regulations require the reporting of temperature deviation to both the distributor and the recipient of the product. We expect to monitor first shipments by the end of May 2016. All right, there you go, modem. So what do you guys think? Modem sensors record environmental conditions that goods are subject to while in transport. When the goods change ownership, the sensor data is verified against predetermined conditions in a smart contract in the blockchain. The contract validates that the conditions meet all the requirements set out by the sender, their clients, or a regulator and triggers various actions, notifications to sender and receiver payment of release or release of goods. So modem is a very interesting technology that's being used with IOT sensors and the blockchain obviously for the supply chain to streamline the supply chain. So this is a community pick yet again. Now here's another one. This is Datum. Um, you guys have been mentioning this and I do hold a position in this one. So OKX, Cause, Ether Delta. I've actually spoken about this one before. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Datum website. So, DAT token is live now. DAT, Datum is the decentralized marketplace for social and IoT data powered by Ethereum. So, basically, a virtual you exists on the internet and you don't have any say over that. And Datum's looking to get the data decentralized out of the hands of the people. Who are controlling your data and saying like well if, if there's going to be your data out there shouldn't you be paid for it or shouldn't you be compensated for your virtual you on the internet and that's kind of what datum is looking to do let's go ahead and take a look at this uh this video here this is datum a pretty jolly bit of data and these are his friends 2.5 quintillion of them being created each day you may wonder where they all come from that's easy from us, all of us, we leave this trail of digital bits behind us as we go through life, and these bits are collected into a mirror image of you, the virtual you. But the virtual you is not owned by you, and that doesn't seem right. Large corporations exploit your data without rewarding you in return. But what if there was a way that you could own and control this data? An avatar, perhaps, that sweeps up all your data and stores it safely in a global network that is not owned and controlled by any large entity. A network where your data is encrypted securely and you are the only one who has the keys. A network where you decide whom to share with and under what terms. And this is a wonderful thing because it protects your privacy and rewards you for what is yours. Let's get data back under our control where we can own our virtual self and manage it responsibly. That does a pretty good job of explaining what exactly Datum is doing. And once I watched that and I went through their website a little bit more, I, uh, I decided that I was going to take out an investment. And uh, yeah, I like what they're up to. I mean, you can read their white paper. We're moving fast here. So let's move on to the next one. It's called Syndicator. All right, let's refresh this and see where the price is. Oh, it's at 16 cents. I do not hold any syndicator. I'm looking to take out a position in syndicator. I like what they're up to. Oh, the Datum market cap is still under 100 million, so that's pretty good, right? This one's at 231 million. You could pick it up on Binance, hit BTC, Market Talks. Uh, you know, it's you. Obviously, we would have liked to get it down here. Now it's up significantly, but. It's been as high as 18 cents thereabouts. So sitting at 16. Does have a high circulating supply in a way, but a fairly low market cap. Still got room to grow. And let's take a look at this. This one kind of reminds me of Deep Brain Chain in a way because it's also talking about artificial intelligence. Imagine you have access to the collective mind of everyone on the planet. Imagine. This collective consciousness is enhanced by artificial intelligence. Imagine in the symbiosis of human and machine intelligence. What would you do with it? 
we make it a reality. We are Syndicator. Syndicator is creating an open ecosystem where we combine the collective intelligence of financial analysts, data scientists, traders, and investors. This ecosystem provides a more efficient approach and valuable predictive analytics for asset management where everyone can monetize individual intelligence. Invest your intelligence. Learn more at syndicate.com. So, using artificial intelligence for intelligence. Hybrid intelligence for effective mass uh, effective asset management, 30,000 plus decentralized financial analyst enhanced by artificial intelligence. Trade smarter with next gen predictive analytics. So you can see for those of you who are looking to get into algorithm or, you know, some sort of uh, trading stuff, right, that, that kind of thinks for you, that would be where syndicator is coming in. So it's very exciting to see this kind of technology hitting the market. Trading indicators about crypto and fiat. Assets. I think this one has a great future, and if of all the lists, the one that I don't hold a position on, I think Syndicator has really impressed me. I don't hold a position yet, but um, I'm impressed by these guys. Finance. All right. Now I know. So now the one that I'm going to show you guys that I I've talked about in the last video, and I'm going to recommend it again, and I'll tell you why. It is something that I found here on recently added. It is called Game. Uh, it's brand new to the market. You can pick it up on Gate.io, VBox. So, still so brand new. It's still wet behind the ears. It's actually, I was looking for the next Tron and I found this one. Obviously, it doesn't have the similar circulating supply. And we don't even know what the market cap is right now. But when we pull up the website here and we explore, you can see it's out of China. But if you click this little English here, you can get it in English. Now, here's what I found out that was really interesting. So it's a new world of gaming, okay? Game.com game is focused on creating a global gaming platform for blockchain digital currencies. Now check this out. So here's what I found out. So that's the CEO, okay? Li Zhu, okay? Investors, Yuan Chen, Yu, it's Justin Sun, right? <laughs> Yu Chen Sun. So Tron founder. So it's funny, I'm looking for the, the next Tron. Sure enough, I find out that Justin Sun, the Tron founder, is also a, an investor on this game.com. So because it's brand new and it's got Tron on board, I'm thinking that it's got a lot of room to grow. And that's why I'm pointing it out to you. It's coming straight out of China. And um, yeah, I think it's built on the Quantum uh, Foundation's blockchain platform instead of Ethereum. So Qtum's getting more and more. Uh, let's see what Qtum's sitting at, right? 61 now. So this one's done a moonshot. It's like Neo. But Neo doesn't have nearly as many um, cryptocurrencies built on it. So uh, game.com, it doesn't have a video that I've seen. And if it does, I have not been able to find it on their website. Um, So I'm looking for, I'm looking to understand more about it, uh, but here's what it is. Our focus is on making GTC global by creating an integrating game content. The, the Alliance of the Blockchain Digital Monetary Fund exists to help each and other provide entertainment services and applications using entertainment content to help with the development and popularization of blockchain technology. So. They've got the .com, game.com, so that's pretty good. Uh, it says they're partnered with Tron, so you know how that's going to stack up for them, especially if you're already on the Tron thing. Look at this, love.pet. Is it, what is that, like crypto pets? Like crypto kitties? I mean, you can see we're getting this thing real early. That's why I'm throwing it out there for you guys. I, I mean, I, you know me, man. I try to do my best to give you guys the altcoin buzz. I, I could have put this first, but maybe I saved this one for last. But um, you got to get it on gate.io. So that might not be the easiest. 
if you don't already have an account there, you know, you might have to jump through some hoops to get signed up and all that to get this, but yeah, gate.io or Freebox. We don't know any of the data here because it's so new. It's still fresh. All we know is that it's it's a gaming platform potentially doing crypto pets, which we've seen with Crypto Kitties was successful. It's got Justin, um, or it's got, you know, Justin Sun from uh, Tron. And uh, yeah, that's why we bring it up. Thanks to everyone who has been participating in the conversations on Instagram here at Altcoin Buzz. If you'd like to give us a shout out on some of these uh, coins that we're posting, thank you. just keep posting the comments here. And uh, let's take a look here now at what's going on on Twitter. See if we can get some uh, just extras in here. So if, if you're already done with the video, the video's done, but you can keep on uh, keep on this if uh, you'd like to see these additional coins. Potcoin. I am actually staying away from Potcoin. Uh, they don't. So this guy, he's saying he doesn't like electronium. Okay. This is a this is a quote. These people are talking about electronium and where they see the price going. So let's see what else we got. Uh, Potcoin and Digipulse. Hmm. Cash. Another one for cash. Cash Moon. All right, let's take a look at cash, since you guys have been talking about cash quite a bit. What's up? Where can you get it? Bitfinex, Huobi, okay. Providing liquidity to the non-liquid crypto economy. They're still talking about the token sale on their website. You can come on here and watch their videos. Looks interesting. It definitely caught my attention. The thing that was difficult for me was the fact they weren't on any exchanges that I were already on. So that was the only snag that I had there. Let's go back to Twitter and see what else you guys are talking about. You guys really like POC. Let's take a look at POC since everyone's talking about POC. I know it's up a lot. Super high circulating supply. Half a million billion dollar market cap you can get it on cryptopia trade satoshi let's take a look at the website oh must be getting a lot of traffic right now affiliate program oh yeah that was that was pretty cool about it the web yeah, I like the affiliate program and that's going to drive that. The video is okay. I've watched this video. That was the thing that um, got more videos on here. Let's take a look here. I'm not understanding the videos. So, all right, well, you guys can come on this website and check it out if you guys want to know for yourself, but the community keeps talking about POC, and like I said, I'm not invested in this one, and I feel like I've already missed the boat. I don't know how high it's going to go, and I'm okay with missing the boat every once in a while, especially on something like this. Where I can't even understand the videos. So, anyways, guys, if you got some new coins for us to check out, continue to comment on social media. Drop us a comment here on YouTube. If you're new here, subscribe. If you've been subscribed, click that bell, and we'll see you next time.